When COVID initially began, Meredith was very involved and very proactive. So we had to find different ways to communicate with our patients through the intercom system um, and just different little things to, to brighten their day because to them, we looked like astronauts. I mean, it was crazy. You could only see just this much of us and that was all people had to go off of. And so there is definitely a debilitating amount of isolation for our patients. Um, whether you're a, a grandmother that's used to being around her grandchildren or a mother that's used to being around her children, people need that interaction so badly and it became so apparent during the pandemic. Um, just um, touch, you know, once people get out of isolation and they feel a human hand touch them, so many patients will just be in such awe of that because they're used to us being in our suits and our masks and our goggles and our shields and our gloves. They haven't touched other human skin that was warm. And when they do come out, it was a, a huge deal for people. Lots and lots of patients cried the first time they came out of isolation. I've realized that there are so many beautiful people that work here that are inspirational, definitely. Um, even if they're overwhelmed and busy, if they see a look on your face just with the two eyes that they can see, that's all that they need. And they'll say, what do you need? Do you need something right now? You know, there's always somebody there asking you, what do you need? Um, and what you need is something for your patient. You know, it's always about the patients. It's never about you. You wait until midnight to go to the bathroom, but everybody else goes to the bathroom, you know? It's definitely a family. We're not, we're not coworkers anymore. None of us are. We're all a big family. It just, it happened. <laughs>